this is going to be a review for the Sound Intone P6 Stereo Bluetooth Headphones. Now, full disclosure up front, I got these as a review unit. I did not pay for these, but this will, however, be an unbiased review. I'm going to tell you what I do and what I don't like about these. So let's jump right in. First of all, these are available on Amazon.com. Looks like they're currently going for $35.98 in free shipping. Uh, they come in five different colors. You have black which has in looks like an accent of copper uh, it's hard to tell from the screen it could be different color in person uh, black blue which is the unit that I received black gold black red and white gold alright so let's jump right into the actual headphones first of all we'll start with the design they're under fifty dollars curb your enthusiasm they're plasticky they flex that's about all I can say for that uh, as far as folding they do fold I mean I don't know if I would call them the best folding headphones I mean it's kind of a weird design the way they fold the others I have like fold so that the earphones are actually inside the band or the others I have kind of fold into a square and tuck under but these just kind of fold on top of each other I mean it's better than just carrying them around fully open if you're throwing them into a backpack or something so it is what it is I'm not, I'm not gonna take too many points off for that um, next up we have the controls you can see here if you can see the inside you see it's marked right and left all the controls are on the left hand side that in the frame there at the top you can see you have your power and mode button um, mode button switches it from Bluetooth mode to radio to compact flashcard and then your forward and back and if you hold that you can skip and then if you just press them real quick it turns the volume up and down or up and down whichever I can't tell from the camera and then at the bottom you have your pause play and you also have your answer phone button and hang up button um, I did try these when I was at the gym to answer a call on them I also made a call I think to my mom once on them just to test them out I mean they could hear me I could hear them it wasn't you know gonna blow you away it's basically just get by like you're in a pinch you or out jogging or something with these on and you needed to answer the phone and really didn't want to you know pull out your pocket or you don't have any pockets to carry your phone while jogging then you could answer with these and get by on a short conversation you know you're not going to be on the phone for half an hour hour or anything on these but in a pinch they'll do uh, next up is the comfort these are actually surprisingly very comfortable I do like the ear pads on these they're very soft they do not pinch my head I would say I have towards the larger size head if I do say so myself uh, so a lot of headphones and hats and stuff like that do sometimes pinch my head but I wore these for hours on end gym you know five six hours at work at my desk um, I've had no problems with them pinching uh, I think that's I guess you could say it's a benefit of the plasticky and flexing of it where they don't pinch or if it was metal you know it's more sturdy so it, it's gonna clamp down on you but as far as comfort they're perfectly fine I have no issue with that um, on the inside here you have a band of rubber that is supposed to help with wicking away uh, sweat um, like I said I did wear these at the gym I didn't notice anything like um, degrading about the rubber when I sweated and was leaving the gym and wiped them off like none of the rubber came off or like faded or anything like that so I mean it's really only a test of time to see how long they'll last if it does actually start to degrade the rubber you know all that sweat and salt from your sweat if it degrades the rubber I mean if it does a couple of months down the road 
Uh, I may leave something in the comments to let people know if they're still looking to buy these. Uh, but again, they're under $50. So even if they do, you're not going to really be surprised. Um, next, we'll go into connectivity. Um, as far as the connecting of Bluetooth on these, it's lightning fast. I mean, like, I wish I could see if I can. I think I deleted it off of my other phone here. So maybe I can connect it real quick and show you. Let's go into Bluetooth settings here. More settings. And you hold down. if you heard that but it said Bluetooth mode and if you look on the phone there it's searching sorry had to refresh and there you can see the P6 so if I click on that boop connected that fast so as far as Bluetooth goes connections these are probably among the fastest I've seen of the ones I own I mean I have some more expensive ones that connect probably about the same speed but for some sub $50 Bluetooth headphones the connection is like boom um, what else I had some issues when I was connecting these by Bluetooth to my phone or not to my phone but to my computer at work um, but when I brought them home and connect them to my computer at home I did not have that same issue so the next day at work I actually took my portable Bluetooth transmitter that I use at home to work and connected it to the computer at work and I did not have that issue what I was getting was like a kind of a drop connection kind of skipping noise as best I can describe it like a squelch every so often and I didn't know if it was like losing connection or a really low connection is why I was getting it but when I connected the Bluetooth transmitter from home it was gone so I can only guess maybe it's the Bluetooth drivers for my computer at work or I don't know maybe it's just the range on the built-in Bluetooth on my computer at work but anyway that went away so I can't really say that was the headphones fault um, alright now let's jump into sound the main reason to buy headphones um, the Bluetooth connection it's very I want to say hollow is the word that would best describe them um, not enough punch for my taste the troubles are very kind of subdued so you don't get a lot of highs I tried playing around with equalizer settings on my phone see if it improved made it a little bit better but overall a very hollow sound I'm not getting a rich you know acoustics and just all the ranges you know highs mids bass they're just not coming out again that comes back to the you know sub fifty dollar you're not gonna get too many headphones sub fifty dollars that are gonna give you just studio quality sound so you have to take that with a grain of salt when you buy these or buy any in that price range having said that they're fine I mean they're perfectly fine for listening um, like I said you're not gonna use these for like any studio recordings uh, for any audio files out there you're not even looking at these so, so it doesn't even matter but for the average person I mean they're fine they sound fine there's nothing I can say that's bad once I got the problem figured out with the Bluetooth noise at work I mean they've worked great since then um, 
So this brings us to our pros and cons. So let's start with pros. First of all, the looks. I like the way they look. I mean, the look themselves is pretty nice. I would have liked to have those black gold ones, but I mean, they sent me these. I can't really, beggars can't be choosy. I, they sent them for free. So I appreciate that. If they're watching this video, thank you for sending these. Um, but yeah, I like the look. I like the design and the the way the accents are on here. I'm actually in bluegrass country and blue is my favorite color. So kind of works out. I wear blue mostly all the time. So maybe they just knew. Anyway, uh, like I said, the comfort, great. I enjoy wearing these. They don't pinch my head. The muffs are very, soft cushiony I mean I wouldn't say memory foam but they are very cushiony um, another pro the fast connection of the Bluetooth great um, thing I did mention that I should mention the sound does improve when I plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack and use them like regular corded headphones it does improve the sound I should mention that I forgot to say during the sound portion so it could just be a Bluetooth thing like it's not you know there's the aptx quality that brings out better sound I don't think these are aptx I don't remember seeing anything that said that on the box yeah it doesn't mention anything about that so I'm guessing that could be part of it but yeah when you plug the cables in the sound does improve I mean again it's not up to like studio quality sound but it does improve the sound on them using the cable um, micro SD card and FM radio they both work I, I don't have the card now I actually took the card out and put it into a, another phone that I had or I would show you that but they do work the FM radio brings in like your most powerful radio stations in your area I mean it doesn't have really an antenna on it that's gonna reach out and get any distant channels but you know your local stations there in town you'll get them they'll be fine I listen to you know our local radio station um, one day while I was riding around just testing these out on my bike and it's fine um, now let's jump into the cons cons like I said the sound quality is average at best they're if they had a little more punch or an equalizer setting something that you could change the settings on this like I have some other headphones that were around this same price range that have an equalizer setting where you can actually adjust the bass or just the treble mid-range you know stuff like that if they had that I think these would be a whole lot better and I would probably mark them up a couple more points but it is what it is you take what you get at the time um, the buzzing sound was a con like I said I think that was pretty much 99% the Bluetooth on the computer itself since I didn't get it on the home computer and then when I used the external Bluetooth transmitter it got rid of it so I'm not gonna blame that on the headphones at first I thought I'd gotten a bad pair but they seem to work fine now using the different Bluetooth transmitter um, the loud clicking sound was a con the buttons on the side when you're wearing the headphones they are you can hear that Ready? No. Power off. but that is very loud when you're wearing these I mean I, if they could I mean I understand they want to acknowledge that you've pressed the button but let's not get crazy if we could like soften that sound on the next model just a little bit 
so it's not popping in your ear but I mean that's kind of a annoyance thing it's not really I don't know if it's even a con it's just more of a personal annoyance for me other people may not even care about that but um, let's see I think that was it for the pros and cons let's jump into my final thoughts on these um, who are these for parents looking for cheap set of headphones for their teenagers like maybe 15 year olds and below and they're just hey mom I want a set of Bluetooth headphones these will do I mean for kids they're not gonna be like super audiophiles so they're not gonna notice the sound or anything like that it isn't up to par with say your um, $200 headphones or plus whatever they're going for now so I would definitely recommend them for these because if they break them like three days out or drop them leave them at school somebody takes them or whatever at least you're not out hundreds of dollars you're out like you know 30 20 whatever dollars um, so that's who I would recommend these for also for the gym they're great like I said they have the rubber on the inside here for wicking away the sweat and the plastic won't like you won't have to worry about it rusting or anything it's plastic I mean you may have it snap due to maybe moisture getting in here and then you leave them in your car and heats up and then winter time cools off you know and it might snap then just to do with the uh, climate of wherever you live but you know I don't expect that to happen like immediately so for the gym if you don't care just need a pair to listen to and you know sweat on and you don't care if they get sweaty save your good headphones for regular use and just get a pair of these for the gym should be good to go um, all right, we're getting pretty long in this video. Just went past 15 minutes, so I'm going to cut it here. Uh, overall, sub $50 headphones. It is what it is. There's nothing extraordinary about them. There's nothing horrible about them. They're Bluetooth headphones. Take that as you will. If you're looking at this video, you're probably thinking about getting them. I don't really have any... Um, I guess major things I would say for you not to get them obviously if you're looking at them you're looking to save money so you're not looking to spend two hundred dollars on headphones you just want some Bluetooth headphones they're as good as any others I've tried that were sub fifty dollars um, some better they're probably upper middle of the pack as far as sub fifty dollar headphones so it's up to you the company did send me a little percentage off coupon which I will put down in the description I uh, should have looked at that I can't remember it's 40% off 45% off I probably should look at that closely before I did the video but I'll put that down in the video or in the um, comments of the video so if you are looking at these you can actually use that to get even more off of these drop the price down significantly so maybe even sway you towards these knowing that they'll be even cheaper but it's your call these have been the sound in tone p6 wireless bluetooth headphones and i have been cl liquid and i'm out